Steve here. I'm back at the Red Roof Inn in Kalamazoo. Uh, if you don't didn't watch my last video, I was impeached as the mayor of hell. And I thought I would do a follow-up video on that. And, you know, give my side of the story, explain why I was impeached as the, the mayor, and put to bed any rumors or speculation as to that. So uh, here we go. It's real simple. I was impeached as mayor of hell because I tried to start a war with Illinois. You know, I had uh, hoped that the uh, armies of hell would rise up against Illinois and destroy them all. Just burn the whole place down to the ground. You know, I made a formal declaration of war as the mayor of hell. And the townspeople, they objected to that. They said that I had exceeded my power and they impeached me. In my defense, you know, those toll roads are outrageous. You know. Anyway, that's that's pretty much the, the bulk of it. Um, they also uh, accused me of filtering um, office supplies. I don't know what gave them that impression. But anyway, that's it. I'm done as uh, mayor of hell. But uh, maybe it's it's for the best. You know, my my entire life, everyone I know, my family, they're, they're all in Iowa. So why did I think? I would just go all the way over to Michigan and become a mayor of one of their, uh, their small towns. I don't know what got into me. I mean, it was one of my New Year's resolutions, and I got it done, so that was good. And, you know, some other good stuff happened as I was mayor of hell. You know, we uh, pardoned D.B. Cooper. We put the Dandy Dittmore Terrier on the endangered species list. I knocked out uh, two more answers on my Mad Lib, and I had some ice cream. So I think it was a pretty good day, and you know what? It didn't just stop in hell. As I was driving back to Kalamazoo, I encountered these two hitchhikers. They were uh, two uh, young women, uh, college girls. They, they were hitchhiking. They were trying to get back home. And I said, you know, I give them a ride. They were headed to a town called Climax, which was just on the way. And I said, yeah, I would take both of them to Climax. You know, they laughed at that, and I said, no, no, I'm a nice guy. I will drive both of you to Climax. And that's what I did. I helped both of them to Climax. And uh, that's really all I got now. You all have a happy Charlie Day Day.